background. He yeah. does have a lot of movies. I've been there. My, Joshy's birthday, we went one year. All right. So, in your guys' books, go ahead and look at page in your workbooks. Uh, you don't need to tear them all out today. And if I see anybody doing homework, I'm going to take 50 points off of your team. Thank you. So, if you're working on homework, and other teams, if you see somebody else working on the homework ahead of us, let me know. Catch them. And that way I can take points off of theirs. Yes. Yeah, you'll be the golden snitch from Harry Potter. That's Quidditch, the snitch. Um, anyway, shh, stop. Can we go ahead and go to page 845? 845 in your guys. I'm going to use a different page looking up here today because we won't actually get to the sandwich question just yet because we're going to work through a few problems, Okay. You don't rip anything. I just said turn to page 845. All right. So today we're going to be working on display measurement data on a line plot. Okay. Uh, and basically what we're doing is we're taking measurements or we're taking data and we're putting it on a line plot. And then we're going to add those together and divide them all up. So it's, that's important that we've learned how to add and subtract and multiply and divide fractions because now we're going to apply that to something practical. All right, something practical. It's something that you're going to be doing eventually in here where you go around and, and um, you, um, you survey people things, and then you make a, a chart with it. And so that's the first bit of the practice we're going to do with this today. All right, so again, the essential question on page 845 uh, is how can I use measurement conversions to solve real-world problems? So this is a real-world problem here that you will have, not probably that you will have, but you can make up one a lot like this. <clears throat> let's look at this problem of the day first. Okay, this has nothing to do with what the fractions or anything like that right now. This is just a review problem. Okay, we could do this review thing that I had up here. Remember this, that review thing right there? Well, I want to do this review right here with you right now because this has to do with either area or perimeter. So, two, and it also has a little bit to do with geometry that you should have had last year, but yet you didn't because of that good old disease, all right? So two sides of a pentagon-shaped yard are each 5 and 8 tenths meters long. The rest of the sides measure 3 and 1 meters each. How much fencing material will be needed to enclose the yard? So whenever I say how much fencing, because you guys spent almost a whole week doing area and perimeter. Something funny? Yeah. Is it? Colton Johnson, Sailor, is there anything funny? Since you're on camera here, I can send it to you. Okay, so quit interrupting me. All right. So whenever we're talking about Aiden, fencing. I, I mentioned this before when we did all that that week, fencing. What are we going to find, the area or are we going to find the perimeter when we're talking about fencing? I got these two who always knows the answers. I think more of you know the answers. It's in your head. And you just don't want to say it or you're not paying attention. You're doing what uh, Miss Ashley said, that you're just staring off into space. I don't know. What do you think, Asher? What, if we're talking about fencing, are we going to be talking about area or are we talking about perimeter? Perimeter. Okay. You ever hear the soldier walks the perimeter of the fence or the gate? He walks the perimeter. He walks the outside. Now, there's several different things on this, in this problem here. And it's not that hard to figure out. First of all, two sides of a pentagon. Pentagon. Penta. Penta. Pentagon. Penta. What's that mean? Pentagon. You've got a square. You've got uh, pentagons, hexagons, decagons, heptagons, octagon, if I didn't say that one or not. So what does pentagon mean? Again, these two know it. And if you guys don't get it here in a second, I'm going to count to one, two, and three, and they're going to answer here in a second at the same time. Pentagon. Don't let them steal your guys' joy of getting the correct answer. Three. What is it? Pentagon is a shape that is like a pierce. I don't know what the name is. But um, it has a top point, and then it's on the square. How many sides does it have, though? Four. Five. She got it. Five. Pentagon, all right? So, Pentagon. 
So I'm not great at drawing things, of course. I mean, I'm, I'm about the equivalent of some of you guys in here. Um, it's true. But I guess I'm just going to be using this marker if it works. Probably won't work as I'm trying to record this. So we have, yeah, of course you don't work today. Dag nabbit. There it is. All right. So we have a pentagon. We have, is that two sides? Is, how many sides is that now? And then is this five? Okay. So once two sides of a pentagon shaped yard are five and uh, 5.8 meters. So what do you want to choose? Choose this one here is 5.8. The markers on this thing do not work very well. Maybe it'll let me do this. 5.8.8. All right. The rest of the sides measure what? 3.1, 3.1, and 3 and 1 tenth, technically. So to find the, as it says, fencing, what are we going to do to those numbers? Uh, add, them. add them together, right? So it says show your work, because that's going to be a big thing also on I learn. Again, you're not going to get a problem where they're just going to give you a shape and say, tell me what the perimeter is. They're going to say some crazy thing like, it might be this problem, and then I might say, you buy so-and-so uh, meters of fencing, do you have enough or how much is left over? It's going to have these strange uh, scenarios because, again, they want you as citizens and, and, and people of, of the world to think for yourselves and be able to figure things out for yourself. And hopefully I gave you enough time to find out adding those together. What is it? 20.9. Is that what you got? Yep. Anybody else get that? Yeah. You're just making that up. All right, so I would do it like this. I'd say, well, 5.8 times 2, because there's two of those, right? That's 16, and that's 11.6. And then how many of those 3.1s? Three. So 3.1 times 3, and that's going to give me 3 and 9.3. And I'm going to add this up to here. And what did you say you had? He is right. So 20.9 meters is how much fencing. Is that answering the question? Let's see if it's answered, because that's what you want to go back and look. Is it, am I answering the question? How much fencing material will be needed to enclose the yard? Yeah, and I showed my work. So he says 20.9. Well, let's go to the next page here. 20.9. They didn't put meters, though, did they? Shame on them. Always mark your things, too. You guys, Some of you have a hard time of labeling what you guys are measuring. So we did that for our practice, so we're not going to do that part there because we did it, we went over. Okay, so let's look at this right here. Now, again, this is not on your guys' workbook page. Okay, the next few problems is not even on there. So don't even bother looking at your workbook page. Just keep your eyes off of it. Again, she's working ahead over here. Should I, I mean, what? Oh, you're, she's drawing it. She's drawing this up here. So what information can you get from this line plot? Looking at that line plot, what kind of information is it that you're going to gain by looking at that? I'm not going to say your answers are wrong or right. Again, I'll come back to you two and you three since she's answering a lot too. Ireland, what do you think you can get from this? Because you're swiveling in your chair. That's why. So looking at this line chart, what can you gain from this? What, what do you, when you look at that, what do you see? I didn't call on you. How much stuff for each number? Okay. Gavin, what do you think? 12 X's. Okay, good. There's 12 X's. What else do you get from it? There's, yeah, there's several X's on each number. He says there's 12 X's. All right. Holly? Yeah, like maybe this is like TVs, right? How many of you have four TVs in your house? How many of you have two and, you know, make an X there or whatever, right? Lauren? see a lot of things from it because you can like measure out how far apart each number is and how many X's are in each one and then times that too. Okay. All right. And Lauren. Laura, sorry. Okay. Okay. So those are all good answers. Um, like this one right here, Gavin called it that there's 12 X's there. Right. Uh one thing you guys could have gathered from it was the fact that there's how many more twos than there are ones? Twice as many, right? 
Uh, you can see right here, there's how many more fours and threes? There's three more, right? Three. So you can kind of see that kind of stuff in there as well. So let's look at this one right here. This is, uh, this is what they call find the fair share of the lengths of fit. And I'll talk about what the fair share means in a second. But we need to look at this is lengths of fish. All right. So again, let's say you're working and you guys get a little bit older and you're working in a pet shop or something. Okay. And in that pet shop, they want you to measure the fish. And you go measure these fish. And this is the, the chart that you guys are making. It's practical. You guys are using it. You guys, again, you always ask, what are we doing this for? Well, again, you're probably going to be asked to do something like that in the near future. If you're working at Walmart, you're working, in, you might have to make a chart of things or something. And so looking like these are, what are these numbers here mean? What does that mean? What's these numbers mean, though? They look weird. What are those? You guys see that these are fractions, right? So when they measured the one fish, one-sixth, there's only how many of the one-sixth fish? One. Two-sixths, how many fish are there? One. Three-sixths? Four-sixths? And five-sixths? Four. Okay, there's four of them. Now, now, how many are there total? Gavin's already got that. He's quick, right? So Gavin says, hey... Where's my writing tools at? Why is it? There they are. Gavin says that there are 10, 10 X's. All right, 10 X's. I'll take that. It is not want my finger to write with it today. 10 X's. Um, yeah, those are X's. Or Well, shut up. All right. It's supposed to be an S, but it's whatever. Well, perfect, Nana. It's a fish. Um, so to find the fair share, what you do is it's going to tell you here. Let's go ahead and go off this. Oh, finally the ink shows up. How many more fish were five, six of a feet? Okay, we don't need to do that. Let's go back here. So let's add these up first of all. Now, this is where the adding comes in handy. Shh. Thank you. Fair share means it's kind of the average of something, okay? So let's add. What is one six plus two six? Okay. It just wants to work sometimes. So this plus that is, he says, three sixths. Okay, so that clears these out, right? We've added that up, three sixths. What's three sixths plus three sixths plus three sixths? Nine sixths. Do we have anything to add on this one? Four sixths. And what's 5, 6 plus 5, 6 plus 5, 6 plus 5, 6? Right? Maybe you take the 5, 5, 5, and 5, you get 20. So you get 20 over 6. So let me make sure we're on the right path here. Hey, you, what are you doing? Okay, so now we got to add all these. Can we add these fractions all up? Why can we add those fractions all up? Same denominator. same denominator. Thank you. So somebody add up. What's in three plus nine? So three nine is twelve plus four plus twenty. So we have thirty six over what? Over six. So we can simplify. So six. But this is not the fair share. You know why that's not the fair share? Because we had to divide those now by how many X's we have. We have 10. So what's 6 divided by 10? 6 divided by 10. What does that look like? It's a, it, it's a fraction, right? 6 over 10 is a fraction. So can we simplify 6 tenths? What are you going to divide both these by? Which is going to give you... Three. three. So the supposedly the fair share means the average of these fish would be three fifths, which would be roughly probably around in, in here somewhere. Okay. And that's where they would average out. They just do the fair share because you're going to see a sandwich one later. Again, it would be like, what would be a fair share that everybody would get? Well, that would be the average of those two. So let's look at 
three-fifths. You guys got that. Three-fifths is right, okay? Now, this one right here, we're going to do this together. We're going to give you a number line, but we don't have anything marked on here yet. You're going to do that for me. And you're going to come up here and do it for me. So, come up here and let's number the number line first, okay? Number the number line first um, to see what numbers we need to put on here. Ethan, come up here and put, what number is going to be right here? Come up here and put whatever number is going to be right here. Come on up here, Skippy. Skippy, okay, what number is going to go on this first line right here? Think it's going to be a one? Okay. I wouldn't have put a one there. What would you have put? Probably a zero. Boys, raise your hand if you're tired of it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. Thank you. You better be tired of yourself. Me too. A lot of people tired of just nonsense all right so what number would we want to put right here a one lauren four. she thinks a four because one two three i'd probably say four right there right so would we say that this is a one two and a three right okay so there isn't a four but and the last one's a three so i mean I mean, yeah, if there was extra on here. So we need to mark off these things. First of all, how many of these numbers we're going to put on here? Nine. So we're going to have nine X's. Okay. Is that, is that a better S for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nine X's. So are we going to put any X's on the zero? No. Are there any zeros here? No. We'll go to one. How many ones are we going to mark? Two. There's two of them, right? So we're going to cross these out so we don't have to do it. So we're going to put an X. And then X. How many twos are we going to mark? Three. One, two, three. So we're going to say one, two, three. Easy enough. How many threes are we going to mark? One, two, three, four. So we're going to mark those off so that we know we've used all of them. One, two, three, four. So again, how many X's are there? There's nine total, right? Yeah. So which one, the amounts of water that's in this fish tank, which fish tank is the largest? Right? A three-quart one is the largest. So now we need to find the fair share. So you guys remember how we find the fair share of it? Yes. Divide. Divide what? The number of X's. Not just the number of X's. What do we do to these numbers here first? We add. So what's one plus one? Two. This is a two. What's two plus two plus two? Three plus three plus three plus three is twelve. Now let's add those together, and what are you going to get? Looks like twenty, right? Not yet. So now what do we do with the nine X's? You divide. You divide 20 by 9. So how many times does 9 go into 20? Two whole times. Remainder what? 2 over 9. So again, the fair share on this, hopefully it marks it on there for you, it's 5 nines. Oh, they said gallons. We didn't do gallons, did we? They did quarts here. Gallons. That's gallons, so they converted. But we we showed what the fair share was in uh, quarts. Okay, in quarts. They tricked me. They tricked me. But I guess I didn't read the problems because it said right here in gallons we did quarts. So on video, there you go. You guys see that I was wrong on it. Anyway, but we got that part right. All right, so let's move on to uh, you, the one that you actually have in your guys' book. Okay, so look on page 845 again. And hopefully we pay close attention to the... Uh, examples here. 845, let's go. Nope. Don't rip anything out right now. Just leave it all in there right now. All right. So six friends. 
shared several foot long submarine sand. What's a foot long submarine? What's a submarine sand? Why do they call them submarines? Submarine sandwiches. They look like a submarine. I guess. I, don't know. I think it's a stupid name, in my opinion. But anyway, um, so six friends share a foot long, several foot long submarine sandwiches. The table shows the amount each friend ate. So we're going to make a line graph, uh, a line plot, and we're going. Probably. Thanks. So let's look at the first one here. Uh, how many? It says how many times does one fourth appear? Two times. So write two in your guys' blank right here. It appears twice. All right. How many times does one third appear? One third, three times. One third he says over here. Three, and then one half appears what? One. one. So you should have two, three, one right there. Two, three, one. Okay. All right. Let me guess. It isn't going to load? Nope. Oh, I love technology. <laughs> refresh your page. You refresh the page. All right, so we're going to switch over to this other one, I guess, since we're on here. Where are we at? Same one. You can stay right where you're at. Look at that quick thinking on my feet. Quick thinking. All right. All right, so we have three, two, one, as you guys have already got these marked right. Three. Technology is not my friend today. Three, two. Did I say three, two, one? Is that what it is? Or two, three, one? Two, three, one. Two, three, one. Okay, so cross that out. Two, three, one. All right, so there we go. We're back on track now. Now, place the correct number of X's above each of the fractions. So above the fourth, how many X's we're going to do? We're going to do two of them. So you guys do two X's right here above the fourth. Okay. How many above the third are we going to put? Three right there, right? One, two, three. And how many above the half? One. Add a title to the line plot. What are we going to mark? The, what are we going to title this as? What do you think? Work. Work? Well, let's, let's look at what it's actually talking about. Let's just call it sandwich length or whatever. All right. Or how... See us. Uh, sub links. Sub links. It doesn't matter. You just you just want to title your guys' charts. Okay. You want people to know what it is that we're looking at. Okay, so let's turn to the next page there. Now it's gonna talk about actually doing a fair share, which is what we've done already. Fair share. Okay. Aiden. Fair share. Again. Go in the hall. Just go in the hall. Yes, take it. You just go ahead and get started on it since you're not going to listen. You can find the fair share or the amount each friend would receive if the sandwiches were divided equally. Fair share is if it were divided equally. That's all that means. It doesn't mean that's what they ate. It just means, hey, if all things were considered fair, that's what they get. So again, we are going to add all the fractions up and then divide it by the total amount of how many X's it's on the page, okay? So finding the fair share using the line plot. So as you can see right here, it says right here there's two X's above the one-fourth. So one-fourth plus one-fourth equals what? Two-fourths or one-half. And that's what they have marked right here. One-half. That's for the two X's above the fourth. There's three X's above the third. So we take one-third plus one-third plus one-third and gives us three-thirds or one. And then there's only one X above the half, so it's a half. So when we add those together, what do we get? Because you take a half plus a half, it gives you what? One. And then you add it to the other one, you get... So the fair share is they'd all get two whole sandwiches eaten. Okay, two whole sandwiches of whatever they got cut up. Okay. So each piece represents, as it says right here, what do you say? Huh? Oh, he was saying something back there. It says here you're going to divide the total amount by the number of X's on the line plot. So we're going to take this total, which was two right here, the two whole, two, 
and we're going to divide it by how many X's were there total again? What? Six, six right? So we're going to take that whole number two, divide it by six. Isn't that two divided by six? Is that two divided by six? Yeah. So and that's a fraction, right? Two, six. So can we simplify that now? Yeah. Divide both these by what? Two. what? two divided by two equals what? One third. So that's where they get this one third action right here. So each part of the sandwich represents one third of a sandwich. So if the sandwiches were divided equally, each person would have eaten one third of a whole sandwich. They wouldn't eat two sandwiches because that's what we said before. If we would have stopped there when we added all of them up, two sandwiches would have been a lot. They didn't eat two sandwiches. They ate a third of a sandwich. Okay. This will get easier as you guys go along. So this dude right here, make a line plot of the measurements in the table and then find the fair share. So let's practice actually extending this and actually making a line plot. So we're going to put a line here. We're going to put a line here. Go ahead and do that on your guys' page. Okay. And since these are fractions, what would be the most logical choice to put right here? One, because everything's going to fall in between there, right? Since they're fractions, that would make the most sense. And how many different fractions do we actually have here? There's two different ones, right? Which, what are they? So one half, isn't it right here? Halfway. So put a half right there. And oh, tell me to stop whenever you think my finger gets to where one-fourth should be. Stop. Probably right here, right? One-fourth. That's a fourth. So how many one-fourths are there? One, two, three, four. So we're going to put four X's right here. Okay, Asher, four X's right there. How many halves are there? So we're going to put four X's. So they're equal, right? They both have four X's on them. Okay. Now, we're going to find the average of those. Again, how many X's are there total? So we're going to divide something by eight. Okay, whatever we add these up, whatever this is, we're going to divide it by eight to get our fair share. So one-fourth plus one-fourth equals what? It equals two-fourths, which is a half, right? So what's one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth? One, because that equals four over four, which is one. So this right here equals one. What is one-half plus one-half plus one-half plus one-half? Because one-half and one-half is one, and then that's two. So when you add one and two together, what do you get? Three. So that's where this goes. Three. So that's... Dividing 3, what we added here, divided by 8. Can we simplify that any? No. So our fair share is 3 eighths. That's our fair share, 3 eighths of a gallon. It says juice. I guess we were doing juice there. I didn't realize that's what we were doing. <laughs> Let's practice some more. Mikey, shake your head. Can you still hear me? Okay. All right, so now they're going to give us a little bit more data to deal with. It's not going to be so easy now just dealing with little tiny uh, measurements here. Again, these are all fractions. So we're going to put a line and a line right there. Now, since they're all fractions, what two numbers are we going to use to put right there? Zero and one. Maddie, do you understand why we're putting zero and one right there? Yeah. Why? What are those? Uh, fraction. So we put the fractions in there. So we're going to look at the different fractions here. Looks like we have a fourth, a half, a third, three fourths. All right, so let's go ahead and mark this. Uh, here's a half, right? Go ahead and mark a half. So we have, how many, let's go ahead and just do that. How many halves do we have to put an X above? One, two, three. So cross those out so we know we've done them. So we're going to put, Three X's right here. That's done. Let's do the fourth now. Where's the fourth go again? Stop me. There. Probably right here. So let's put one fourth. 
How many X's of one fourth are we going to use? One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. Let's mark those off so we know we've used these. We don't have to go back over it. We have a third now. Third. Where does a third go? Right behind it or here? Probably right here, right? About right there. Here's a third. I'm going to put it in a different color since they're so close together. How many thirds do we have? Three. Good job. One, two, three. So we're going to put three X's here. Okay. And then we have one left. What's the last one? Three-fourths. So three-fourths is probably right. Stop me. There. So three-fourths is right there. Hey. Uh, how many three-fourths do we have? How many? Two. One, two. So we're going to put one, two right there, okay? How's his ear? Still. Okay. That's good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so we've got this part. I think you all basically understand this part. Now we got to find the fair share. So what? How many? Twelve. Good job. So there's twelve. So something's going to be div divided by twelve. So what do we got to do now, Ethan? You can do it here in a little while. What do we need to do next? We've got the twelve x's. That's divided by twelve, but. How do we get the number that goes above here again? What do we got to do? What? Add what? Add all these separate, right? So what's one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth? I hope you all understand that because we're doing one. Where are you at? Um, one fourth plus one fourth. That's all we're doing. They're just doing it in their head, which equals one, two, three, four over four, which equals what? One whole. So one hole is going to go right here. What is one third plus one third plus one third? Another hole. So we're going to add that plus one. What's one half plus one half? Uh, one plus a half. So that's going to be one and a half, right? And then what's three? Ooh, three fourths plus three fourths. What's that equal? You can just leave it as an improper if you want. Six fourths, right? Six fourths. So we have all these numbers here. Now we got to decide how do we add these. Well, we we have enough brain power that we could add these up because we've had all these before. Yeah. He says change this right here to one and a half. Okay. Yeah. So one and a half. So we have basically what's one and a half plus one and a half? Three. Three. Right. And then, so we got one and a half, one half is three, plus one is, plus one is. So that's what goes right here. So can we simplify that any? So our fair share is five twelfths of a foot of yarn length. Took a lot to get there, didn't it? But that would be a correct answer right there. Fair share is five twelfths of a foot. I think you guys get putting the X's here. It's the adding part right here is where it kind of throws you. And really, this is no, no different than if we were uh, doing averages. You do the same thing. Like I take all your guys' grades, and then if I took 10 grades, I'd divide it by 10 to give you an average of what you're – that's how you guys get your grades to begin with. All right, so look down here at iced tea. Who doesn't love iced tea? I know he does. He told me the first day his favorite iced tea from, from Sweet Tea from South Carolina, right? Yeah. All right. So I remember, how many of you like sweet tea? I love sweet tea. Yeah, doc, like the doctor says I shouldn't drink it because it's lodging right. In, it's getting stuck in this area the sweet tea is. So I kind of have to lay off the sweet tea. I don't like tea. So um, yeah, fraction. Yeah. So we're gonna have to make a number chart right here. And since these are fractions, Gavin, what numbers are we gonna use right here? Right here. We're going to use, now you won't always use zero and one, but today you are on most of these. And let's just go ahead and start one half. Let's go ahead and mark, let's mark a half here. One half. And let's go ahead and how many one halves do we have? One, two, three, 
four. So I'm going to put four X's right there. My next one, one-fourth. Where's one-fourth go? Stop me. Probably one-fourth right here. All right, so let's put the X's there. How many do I have? One, two, three. So one, two, three. And then how many, uh, I guess, eighths? Stop me when I get to the eighths. Nobody knows. There you go, eighths. The eighth is right there. And he says there's two of them. Mark them off. So we have two X's. So how many total X's are there? There's nine. So fair share, we're going to put something divided by nine. It's something, whatever the number is. So what do we get here? What's one eighth plus one eighth? So let's put two eighths right here. What's one fourth plus one fourth plus one fourth? What's one half plus one half plus one half plus one half? Two whole. All right, so now we got to deal with this little guy right here. We got to add these guys. And you guys have done this. He says simplify it. What are we going to simplify it to? He says make this one fourth, which he's not wrong. So what's one fourth plus three fourths? One whole. So one plus two is what? Can I simplify three ninths? Yes. Lauren? Divide by three equals one third. Good job. So my fair share is one third of a quart of iced tea. That's a pretty good quart of iced tea, one third of it. One third. All right. We have a couple more here, and then I'll let you guys on your own. Okay. I'm just going to clear, I'm going to clear all of it here. Yeah. All right. Amount of sliced turkey. All right, I like sliced turkey. We have fractions again, so I'm going to go ahead and make my chart like this. Maddie, Gator, what number should I use here and here? Since it's fractions, all right. We can do this fairly quickly. Uh, we have an eighth, we have a fourth. Let's go ahead and just start marking eighths. So here's a half, right? Here's a fourth. Here's an eighth. Who? Matthew. What? No, probably not today. Thank you. All right, so how many eighths do we have? One, two, three, four. Just four? So mark four X's on the eighth. All right, so let's mark these eighths out here because we don't need those anymore. One fourth. Here's the fourth. Let's go ahead and mark the fourth. How many fourths are we going to have to mark? Four, three, four, one. Another four. Oops, that doesn't look very good. To so mark those out. Yes, yeah, let's just go ahead and go to the half since that's the next one, basically. How many halves are we going to have to mark? Just. No, three. There's three of them right here, right? So we have three X's. All right. Of course, I'm drawing my X's a little bit too big because there's this would actually be more than that. Uh, seven eighths. Where's that going to be? Well, let's say this is three fourths, right? So wouldn't seven eighths be about right there? Yeah, that's where I would put it. So how many seven eighths do we have? One. And then we have three fourths. So we already said this was three fourths right here, right? So we do three fourths right there. How many X's do we put on three fourths? One again. Goodness. Cancel that. And then three eighths. Where's three eighths go? Four eighths is a half. So we know we're going to be less than that, right? So it's going to be roughly about right in here. So we have three eighths. How many of those do we have? One, two. So, and then five eighths is going to be roughly about right. Again, that's a little bit more than, so it's going to be right there for five eighths. And, and there's only one of those. Wow. All right. So, how many total X's do we have? Eighteen. 
Looks like there's 16. You're close. 16. So put a 16 right here because you're dividing that by 16. So now we're going to add all these guys up, and this is going to be a mess. All right. One-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth is what? Three, um, nope. Four-eighths. Four 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 plus. We'll wait. What's one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth plus one-fourth? Oh, one whole. One whole. What's three-eighths plus three-eighths? Okay. What is one-half plus one-half plus one-half? Yeah, we will here, but one half plus one half plus one half is one and a half. Or let's just go ahead and say three over two, okay? Because that's one plus one plus one is three, two. What is, let's see, five eighths. That's just five eighths. So we're going to add five eighths. Uh, three fourths. There's just one of them, right? Three fourths. And then there's one seven eighths. Oh, my goodness. We have a lot of fractions, but you've done this. So most of these have which number as their denominator? Eight. So let's go ahead and convert the ones that don't have an eight into the eights, okay? The one, we don't need to mess with it, right? Because that's a one. This is already got one. So four eighths plus six eighths. Okay, we're going to change this one right here now. How many times does two go into eight? Four times three is what? So that's going to be 12 eighths plus five eighths. Plus, okay, we got to change this one here. How many times does four go into eight? Two, two times three? Six. Then plus seven. Now remember, whatever we do, we got to add one to it at the very end there. So what is four plus six? What's 10 plus 12? 22 plus five? 27 plus six? 33 plus seven? 40 over eight is plus one? Yeah, we didn't have to. We, we didn't have to. We needed to get the eight on the bottom. So we have six sixteenths right there. So can we simplify that by dividing anything? Divide them both by what? By two, and that gives us three eighths of a pound of turkey. Fair share. Now that's a lot of problem right there that they gave you. This, yeah, this should have been the last one that they gave you, but they gave you that one first, okay? All right, last problem, and I promise you're going to have some time. Last problem. Distance swam. Distance swam. So, again, we have fractions here. So, what numbers are we going to use right here, Holly? Thank you. So let's go ahead and just mark our fractions. Here's a half. How many halves do we have? Halves do we have? One, two, one, two three, four, five. So mark five X's. Can we go ahead and skip and just go ahead and count those up? What's a half plus a half plus a half plus a half plus a half? Let's just go ahead and mark that five over two so we know that we're adding them to that. Uh, one third. Again, we had a third being here last time. How many are there? Three. One, two, three. What is one third plus one third plus one third? Oh. Plus a whole. And then a fourth is going to be right here, roughly. Mm -hmm. two There's two of those. What's a fourth plus a fourth? Uh, two. Plus a half. Plus a half. Hey, look at that. We already have the twos on the bottom. What's one plus five? Six over two, which is also three. So what's three plus the one? But what goes underneath of this now? How many X's do we have total? Ten. Ten. Can we simplify that any? Yes. Yes, Divide them both by two, and that yes. gives us? The answer is two-fifths of a mile swim is our fair share. That's our fair share. Yes, I'm going to have you guys do the homework now. All right, so again, shh. no, you're not. No one's opening the Chromebook for it. Um, but again, when you guys do your homework, Mike, you can skip that backside there. But when you guys do your homework, okay, um, they're having you look at this problem here. So they've done all the work here for you on that one, okay? It says refer to the homework helper to answer questions one and two. Guess what? That's the homework helper. You're looking at these numbers, okay? And on the backside, you have 
one that you're actually going to make one. So you're going to do what we did, and then you're going to tell me what is the fair share in pounds, which is already there. And I think the rest of it should be pretty self-explanatory, okay? So if you guys got any questions, I'll be in the room. Mikey, if you uh, – do you have any questions? Shake your head yes or no. No? Okay. If you do, you know how to get a hold of me, okay? All right. When you guys are finished with the homework, turn it in. Thanks for watching.